off tonight's uh, Zoom with James Cook, going with Anthony Dasher, and then we'll follow with Palmer Tomes. Hey, James, good to see you today. Uh, been here now four years. Uh, I was wondering, in, in what ways has your appreciation for this uh, Georgia-Florida rivalry changed? Um, I mean, since it's a big rivalry, I mean, it's really, it's really like, I don't know how to say it. Like, it's weird in a way, like, because I'm from Georgia. And, I mean, I'm from Florida, and, and I play for Georgia. So, I mean, it's just kind of, like, fascinating to just go back in my home state and play and and kind of get a W. What's it like to go home after a game? Do they still talk about the contest, like last year, for example? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Um, just having that, just because I play for Georgia and I'm from Florida. I mean, like, I got um, friends that play in Florida, so, I mean, when they won last year, they were kind of rubbing in my face, so, yeah. James, what's it been like this week having JT back <clears throat> in the rotation of quarterbacks, uh, and, and what have you seen from him, both him and Stetson, uh, in preparation for this game? I mean, they've been taking me. They've been taking equal lead reps. Um, they both been getting better this week. Um, JT looked fine, throwing um, better than he was before. And I mean, both of them preparing like they both want to start. So I don't know who's going to start or who's going to play the most, but they both been um, practicing very well and, they, and both been practicing like they started. Let's go to Mark Weiser, followed by Catherine Lewis. James, I know you guys have been focused on Florida this week, but I'm curious, last week when you had the open date, did any of the uh, young players on offense or defense that got more of a chance to to work, um, you know, catch your eye? Anybody uh, create some buzz? Um, no doubt. Just kind of all the young guys, like like Dejan, he got better over the break. Um, I would say defensive-wise, Javon Bullock, um, David Daniel, all them guys got better. Like, just get extra reps, taking advantage of their reps. Um, just um, just really um, coming to the play with the um, coaches set for us and our goals. Like we just kind of held on to that and, and tried to execute our goals last week, and we did it. And we got a lot of extra reps and got a lot of things done. Hey James, yesterday um, Kirby Smart said that he hasn't had a great experience in counting on emotion to win football games. So how do you avoid that going into a rivalry game that you lost last year? Um, actually, we just, um, no regrets, like, just going out there each and every day to get ready to just beat, well, not, yeah, yeah, beat these guys and get prepared to play, and, I mean, really just, like, just that feeling just coming off the field last year that we had, like, knowing what we could have did and what we could have, like, like, I mean, that's what we've been holding on this week. Let's go to Chip Towers, <clears throat> followed by Connor Riley. Yeah, <clears throat> James, uh, it seems like I've seen this from you a lot this year. What, what's your thought when you get called for a wheel route? But it, or as a running back, um, it, it, what's your feeling on wheel routes? Seems like you've been pretty effective on. Oh, like actually, my my job is to beat the man in front of me, and that's what I'm trying to do. So. As long as I win my one-on-ones and get open, sky's the limit. But how would you say your your development as a receiver out of the backfield has been since you've been at Georgia? Seems like you're doing a lot of that nowadays, in particular. Um, just really kind of holding on to the little details and like the things that I should do and shouldn't do, and like the defining a choice route and just man zone look so just kind of like holding on to the little details and running my routes and trying to be perfected hey james you obviously could have gone pro after last season but elected to come back to georgia have you done the things you wanted to do and coming back to school from it for another year and showed nfl teams the things that you're capable of and built on your game from where it was a season ago oh um I really came in, yeah, it, it, it actually did help um, undefeated. Um, that's the goal. And try to just lead my team the best way I can, really. And I really came back to my brothers and tried to accomplish something with them, for real, for real. And, um, and just try to get be better every day 
like with my team. So we won't have that same feeling that we had last year. Let's go to Jake Rowe, followed by Ryan Curley. I don't have a question, Tim. Okay, Ryan. James, how much fun are you having out there this year? You guys are dominating. I, I know it's all business. How much fun is it? I mean, that's the whole that's the whole goal of it. Really, is to just have fun with what you're doing. Like, like if you ain't having fun, then it's gonna be off. Like the game gonna be off. Everything gonna be off. So just have fun, smile. That's what I learned this year. Like as an older player, like I have to smile a lot. Like be more into it. Be more joyful with my teammates. And yeah, just really smiling for real, for real. And having fun with it. Let's go to Davis Baker. And after Davis, we'll open it up to any questions. James, with uh, Kendall and Kenny potentially missing this game, is your uh, practice, I guess, regimen changed at all this week? Are you anticipating more snaps or has it been business as normal? Oh, yeah. It's just me getting, me really, it ain't no me getting more reps or to me getting more reps. Like, we just been doing what we've been doing practicing hard, trying to get better each and every day to be get ready to be Florida. Questions from anybody? Hi, James, how, how has Kenny been getting, Kenny McIntosh been getting back into the mix? We saw him at practice on a Monday and he wasn't wearing a non-contact jersey or anything like that. Um. Oh yeah, he, he got much better um, over the little break we had and time off to get better. And he attacked it, the um, training room hard, and he kind of get back in the rotation, and he will be playing Saturday. So, been having great practices. Um, yeah. Any more questions? Got time for a couple more. All right, James. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Appreciate you.